This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast. It's Friday, June 24th, just six months until Christmas Eve. (laughs) Yeah, thanks for that reminder this morning. That being said, as soon as you said it, I laughed and thought, oh, geez, okay, wait a minute. I bought a Christmas gift this week. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Whoa. That's You're weird. so hard to buy I for. Bought, I, I am you, not. I don't know and what don't to get say you. that. I don't know Shut what to up. get you. It is so aggravating because <laughs> I am not hard to buy for. And yet somehow, like you you joke, you buy incredible gifts. Um, no, I don't. But there are people in my life who seem to have much. Exactly. <laughs> there are people in my life who seem to have much difficulty finding me a gift, and I don't understand why. I, well, I'm not I feel I'm pretty easy. But I did buy you part of your gift. Part of your gift. You got me the left sock. Yes, I still got to find the right one. And it mustn't match. I think it's in the dryer somewhere. So. Probably is. I... <laughs> we'll go have a look. But yeah, funny enough, I never even, that didn't even occur to me. But thank you. Now that it has, I better start mapping out my game plan here of attack. Can I guess? What you got me for part of my gift? Or do you think I know now? No, I don't I, think you know. I've put it together. I don't think you know at all. I think I Because I didn't know I, I was getting you this until I, I saw it. And then I, it's exactly what I'm thinking. Okay. I think you bought me a book at your church's <laughs> yard sale that you've been working on. Is that what you bought me? No. To put in the package? No. A book that you knew but I would But it was want. at the yard sale. I bet it. Well, okay, it so wasn't I'm, a book, but it, but it was a at book. the yard sale. So that is my so church great. is having a yard sale this yeah, week. I yes. think that that is amazing, and I can't wait to see it. Okay, I think it's that's pretty. Great. It's pretty darn good. Of when course I saw it, is. It, like, I, love I didn't it. even hesitate. I grabbed I it, it and put it in my pile of stuff because I was helping. I got, <laughs> I got to do some early shopping. Okay, so. <laughs> you don't get free stuff though, right? No, no, no. no. Well, I on. will make Ed, going back to God for goodness. Exactly, sake. I will make a donation to my church for the. Oh, so good. Thank you. But are you impressed that I figured that part out? I thought it was. No, I figure because I've been I've been talking about it all week, so I figured figured that, that that's really where I've been this week. That's where I've spent most of my time other than here. So mm-hmm. it's not hard to to uh, detect where I was or to figure it out. Where so. is where is the church? Horde Station. Yeah. It used to be Hordes United, but uh, we had four in our pastoral church and they amalgamated okay. about six or seven years ago now. So yep. now it's the Seymour United okay. Church, but the one in Horde Station. County Road. It's off County Road 8. 8, which runs between Sterling and Campbellford. Campbellford, yes. And just look for the crowd. <laughs> exactly. It's uh, it's on, Hor- I believe the ch- the name of the road is Hortz Church Road. Okay. Yeah. And you'll have balloons Church or road, something at the, at the road anyway. I'm told like there will be sign. signs. A sign? I'm told right. there'll be signs, but yeah. And it's funny too, because we were joking. Um, one of the ladies mentioned the bake table. And not that she was questioning it, but she said, well, we should get a lot of people in for that. I'm like, are you kidding me? People here, church lady cooking and they're in oh here. Gosh. Like if church yeah. ladies are baking anything, yeah, that's going to be your top seller ladies. So yeah. price it high. <laughs> uh-huh. One Rice Krispie Square, $4. I'll take five. Yeah. Here's 20. Church lady pie. There's oh, church nothing lady pie. like church lady pie. I don't know what. Yeah. I, I don't know. I haven't I haven't gotten there yet. Mm-hmm. There's ladies in my in my congregation that are just amazing bakers. Church lady pie would be like I saw I've seen it before. It's like you know eight dollars. So you give them ten. You walk away. They say no, it's two dollars. It's like you don't ask for change. No, it's church lady pie. The money stayed. Like you don't get change. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see if anybody tries to haggle at this <laughs> yard sale. Because myself, I would be very, <laughs> I would be very nervous. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This book's a dollar. I'll give you mm, seventy-five cents. Do you really want to give me seventy-five cents? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Purgatory is a million years. Want to try for two? <laughs> what do you think? Pay the dollar. Pay the dollar. Go to heaven. Yeah. yeah. And as we found out this morning, that's just that's just one of so many events going on. You put the challenge out to me this morning when we first got in here. You know what we should, because we've talked about different events going on this weekend. You know what we should do? We should have an event off, as you put it, where we went back and forth until we were done. And you said at the beginning, we'll set it up. So we each have stuff. And then it and then it, it turned at some point during the show and it really did become a competition. Right. 
So we we were digging pretty deep this morning. There's a lot. I know we say this, but there really is a lot going on this weekend. The turning point in the show was when you got competitive about it. That was... (laughs) <laughs> but I was driving in thinking, okay, I, there was so much going on, I didn't want to forget them. There was mm-hmm. like two or three golf tournaments yes. there. So, so I, I said, we should probably do like a wrap-up. And I thought, well, how can we make that fun? And and then and then away we went. And then your <laughs> friends start texting you stuff. And, and before we know it, so we have the Seymour Church, right? So we have that yes. going on. We got that. Oh. We got the Caribbean Festival. Festival in town tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. We got... Uh, There's three golf tournaments going on today. Yeah. VIQ, Hospice Quinney, and then you have... the George McCutcheon George Memorial. George McCutcheon, yes. Uh, out of Tweed. His son Ian is still running that, so those three are going on today. Downtown at dusk. That's how, uh, that's uh, happening. Tonight. Brighton Speedway's got their freestyle jumpers, main mm-hmm. stock, and stingers tomorrow. The shark competition. There's the yeah. sailing competition, which I love. Championships yeah. going on on Sunday. So that'll be on the bay. That's, that's on the bay so out here. great to watch. And Sunday is also, this was the one that was texted in, is also Canoe Day. And though it's not here in Belleville, just, just up the road, just still within our community, Peterborough has a great canoe mu- museum. And admission will be free on Sunday. Now, what is this about a yarn crawl? Oh, yeah. A yarn crawl in southeastern Ontario. So it's self-guided, but it's going on tomorrow and Sunday, I believe, at different locations in Trenton and Belleville. It's a yarn crawl. A yarn crawl. I'm assuming it's for knitters. Okay. So it's not like (laughs) they have... A field of yarn, a foot off the ground, you have to crawl Could under you imagine? it. That, I, it's like a scavenger hunt on your belly. That's what I thought it was. Let's see. Southeastern yarn crawl. It's yarn on the crawl. it's on the Bay of Quinney Tourism right. website. And it is okay, from yarn yarn it in Coburg to Craft Village in Trenton onto Grey Huron Yarn Shop in Craft Village in Belleville. Um, it goes through Sterling, Picton, Odessa, Verona, wow. Smith's Fa- Smith Falls, Perth, Kingston, Gets up into the, and includes Amherst Island. Wow. All right. So you travel around and collect your yarn. Holy smokes. Yeah. Sterling Church has got their yard sale today yes, and tomorrow. They do. That's going on. Cruising the 50s, 60s, and 70s Rock yeah. and Roll Festival in Marmara. It's going out. The Curling Club started last night, goes tonight. Goes again tomorrow. Can't find your grandparents? That's where they are. Or they could be at Keg, Corks, and uh, Curds. Yeah. Which is going on at Farmtown Park this weekend, too. <laughs> You'll get the bridge in Carlo Estates Winery in Prince Edward County. The Rival, or Revel, sorry. The Revel Festival or event at Macaulay House mm-hmm. in Picton. David R. Miracle will be part of that tomorrow morning. He was so great this he week. He was really good. If you missed that yes. podcast, you missed a good one. Go back and get that one. And uh, we've had tons of graduations at CML Grade 8 grad down in Wellington going on tonight. That's like a thumbnail sketch. Well, and we can't forget one more as ding. well, ding. right here in Belleville again, the Children's Safety Village. It and we great. spoke to Bill Glisky, our own Bill Glisky, who used to be our own Bill Glisky about that event. Hello. Bill! <laughs> Bill! Hello, 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 hello. It's so good to hear your voice, Bill. Oh, it's so good to hear your, you guys, well, I hear you guys all the time. Right. <laughs> this, this is much more intimate, shall we say. Yes. Bill Glisky trading in his cheap seats for a Kushira one at the Children's <laughs> Safety Village. How's the job going? Yeah, how's it going? The job is going uh, great. A lot, a lot to learn, a lot to uh, to catch get up to speed on but yep. uh, already uh, some some good things going on making some progress making some things happen and uh you know already great partners we have with the with the safety village stepping up to uh to help us keep things going in the summertime well yeah it's like you hit the ground running because coming up this weekend you guys are giving away bike helmets yes uh a, a great initiative uh our friends at habitat for humanity got a, a, a skid full i guess of of extra extra small bike helmets and said you know who can we reach out to to help us with give these away, and they called us. We said absolutely, we would love to help. Called uh, our friend Chris Bond at Bond Laws, who's a huge supporter of the village and our bicycle safety program. Uh, turns out the uh, Brain Injury Association of Quinney District uh, has been collecting helmets through COVID. Obviously, hasn't been able to give them away, so they have about a hundred. Mm. 
So on Saturday, we're giving away 200 bicycle helmets. Nice. It's so important, too, because, yeah, this is, yeah. The, this is the season. You see families out biking all the time, and children especially. A helmet is a key piece of equipment when you're out riding your bike. Yeah, and, you know, COVID has thrown everybody's schedule off for all these kind of things. So a lot of people, I'm sure, you know, weren't really anticipating getting out and doing all this stuff, haven't been sort of keeping up. You know, go to put mm-hmm. the helmet on, and it's, you know, two sizes too small because... You know, it's been eight months yeah. since their child's been on a bicycle. Yeah. yeah. Yes. What are the, uh, of course, going to be at the Children's Safety Village as a location? At what time, Bill? Starts at nine o'clock. Uh, we'll run until we either run out of helmets or till about noon. And uh, for people who don't know, the Safety Village is still basically behind the old police station on Dundas Street. And in fact, uh, you know, you can come into the Safety Village off South John Street, but the easiest way is to come into the parking lot for the old police station off of George Street, and then you can just walk into the Safety Village from the backside. And that, that way, there's plenty of parking, plenty of room. You know, if you want to uh, to bring the family or whatever, you got lots of room. The Children's Safety Village here in Belleville so important to educate our young, our youth here in the Gwinnie area on road safety and, and other factors as well. The bike helmet giveaway coming up on Saturday, just just one way of doing that from 9 to noon. Thank you so much, Bill. Oh, thank you guys for calling. It's great to ta- talk with you again. Yeah, miss you, Bill. We miss, miss you, Bill. You, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you guys, too. <laughs> well, it started out with just wee little ones. So if it's, this would be their first helmet they ever got, right? Yeah. That's the size I got. But then Mm -hmm. when the brain injury group got together and said, hey, we got some more, there'll be all kinds of great sizes. So thanks to Chris Bond for picking up the phone when Bill called, and Bill and all of the uh, volunteers at the Children's Safety Village tomorrow, 9 till noon, behind the building that used to be the police department on Dundas, right behind there. It's not a sting operation. Like <laughs> That's why I'm giggling, because like, you said that yesterday. No, no, I'm no. not going to fall for this again. <laughs> right. You know, it would be like some of the charity events that are going on just stop by the police station. Sting event. <laughs> They're just trying to get me to go in. And then, <laughs> and then they've got me. Yeah, I'm here for no. the I'm here for the free beer thing you guys are doing. Oh yeah, come oh, on yeah, in come here. Come on in. Come on in. With this room at the bars, you have the right to <laughs> to remain silent. <laughs> what? Oh, that's not what it is at all. I no. fell off for it again. No, no, no. It's gonna be great. It's for the whole family, and uh, whether you can bring the wee ones or not, nine until they run out, or about noon. noon. Yeah. And then, as we mentioned, hang out downtown. Weather's gonna be great for the Caribbean Festival tomorrow, and Friday of next week is Canada Day. Already. Wow. And uh, coming up on the show and the podcast next week, Susan Walsh is, um, do you imagine that job? No, I can't. She's got like a lot of, and thank heaven she's done it a lot because she's got the process down. I don't know how you would sit down and plan Canada Day. Every time we talk to her, it's coming up to a big weekend, of course, and we yeah. and it's we always say, okay, well, next week you'll be able to kind of get through the weekend, then take a breath. She's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, waterfront. <laughs> I've got about three or four other things to do after that. Like she, she's done an amazing job keeping keeping things going, keeping things coming to the city, bringing them back, and and doing everything. I don't think I have ever talked to Susan Walsh when she didn't have high blood pressure. I'm trying to think. I think I, I've <laughs> well, never just bumped again. Do you into blame her? her? No, yeah, I, no. I would have high blood pressure too. There's a lot. There's that goes waterfront into. going on. There's Santa Claus parades. Like every time well, we talk to her, it's like I got I got no time for you guys. But I yeah. Will. Let's just do this and come on. I got to keep going. In three, two, one. <laughs> it's Canada Day. Yeah, exactly. We have we have. Oh, I don't have it in front of me. But she sent all the information for Canada Day to us, so we yeah, would have all yeah. the events and everything. It's like holy cow. Oh, we're so, not that Whoa. we're used to it because it was only two years. Yeah. But for the last two years, it was, you know, do what you can. Yeah. Distantly. We're going to try, we'll drive by things. And and then when you put down on paper, actually everything it is when we get back to it that we used to take for granted mm-hmm. that we could have all the time. It's like kid in a candy store. We can do all of that again. Yeah, we can. And then some. It's down at the park. And it's free. Yeah. You know, some of the oh food isn't, but you know, the events. And oh, but gas is $2. I know, but you can just go right there. You can go right there. Have and a great there's time. a shuttle. If you're worried about gas, yeah. they also have the free shuttle running around the city. So you don't you don't have to drive. It's, it's just amazing what they do, what the chamber puts together and has for the community to enjoy. You could you don't have to spend anything to go down there this weekend and, or next weekend for Canada Day. That we talked that. about everything going on this weekend. It's Canada Day and everything that yeah. will be going on for that. Wellington has got all of their events. And I know they, they're big on I Canada Day. I have started Day. a list, which we can get into next week, of 
area I bet you fireworks have. and oh events. My gosh. There's Frankfurt, Quinney West, uh, as you mentioned, the county uh, here in Belleville, even a little further north um, in Trent Hills, as well as around Bancroft. Like, there's just, yeah, there's so much to. We will have in. that for you on a we podcast. We will. We will have that for you. I will begin it by just some chucklehead comment, and then I'm going to sit back. <laughs> and Charity's just going to go. <laughs> and then the weekend after that, if you've never been in the Quinty region before, is Waterfront. we oh, got plenty of time to get to front. that. But that's only in two weeks. And then Rockfest. And then Empire Rockfest the weekend after that. It oh my gosh. never ends around here in the Quinty region. It's like the doors open. Yeah. And everybody's just running through now. It's like, yep, let's go. Yep. It's great. I don't look forward to Labor Day. We've had this discussion before. But there is a little bit of... <sighs> is that what we'll people. do? For That's, a lot of yeah. people. Because They'll be able not to that they don't breath. enjoy the summer. They do. But it's a busy time. You know, you got to make hay. When, when you're in an area like ours, you know, Muskoka is another one. Kawartha yeah. is another one here in the Quinty region. You know, you really make your hay from Victoria Day to Labor Day. And uh, thank heavens we get a chance to but help the local uh, economy this way. As you said, I think there's appreci- an appreciation for it now. I think we all want to. It's kind of it's kind of that thought of again. You're looking at so many different things. It's like I want to do it all. How how there's so much to do. How, mm-hmm. We got to do this. We got to get out. We got to do <laughs> like that. Momentum's going again to get out and do things, which is nice. Once again, in Quinty. Dot C-A, I-N-Q-U-I-N-T-E dot C-A, as always, all summer long, if you're listening outside the region, and say, I think I should move there. You really should. You really should. It's a great you area. You really should. It's really kind of cool. You don't have to drive a lot of places. Well, and as we said yesterday, we're kind of smack right in the middle between two major centers, Toronto mm-hmm. and Ottawa, which mm-hmm. also offers a lot to do, again, as we touched on. So, yeah, it's it's a great place to be. So enjoy your weekend. We will get back at it again on Monday. Uh, it's the Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast here, wherever you get your favorite podcast. Do the morning show on 95.5 Hits FM in Belleville. We'll talk to you on Monday.